What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Welcome to this week's episode of What's New TW. It's St. Patrick's Day. People are pouring green drinks. The hillsides are green. The bass are spawning. It is time to be out on the water. It's the best time of the year to be out fishing. Everyone's catching big ones. They're up shallow. It's a great time to be out there on the water. So we got a bunch of exciting gear for you today. The first few are going to be from Savage Gear. These were actually released at the 2020 iCast and we finally got them in stock. Most of them were available for pre-order. And if you already have one on pre-order, you probably have already got it in the mail by now. So the first one we got is the new Pulse Tail Series Ready to Fish Trout Swim Bait. So we have these in a six inch, eight inch, and 10 inch. This is the eight inch model right here. And we can't be any more excited in, in Tackle Warehouse shop here to, to get these in finally. Waiting for these for a long time. So as you can see on these swim baits, they're extremely lifelike. They've done an awesome job with all the, the 3D detailing on them, the fins, gills the texturing of the scales, the paint jobs on them, they just knocked it out of the park. And they've also got you know, that signature pulse tail design. So that tail, you're gonna be able to wind this thing super slow and just get a nice subtle kick, but you're not gonna have any problems if you reel it pretty fast, you're gonna get a nice kicking action. And it just, it comes rigged and ready to fish right out of the package. So if you're a diehard swim bait angler, I personally love to throw big swim baits. If you look at you know, those guys' swim bait boxes, most of them are gonna have some kind of rigging system like that uh, you know, with a, with a stinger hook attached to the jig hook. Now, Savage Gear has taken it a step further and they've actually incorporated an internal harness and they've done a double dorsal fin design, split dorsal fin, so the harness lays into the body and the hook fits nicely down in this little slot so you don't have any of that hardware running along the back and sitting on one side or the other of the dorsal fin and making it unbalanced. It's just an awesome design. You don't have to do anything to this bait. It's got this monster jig hook on there that you need, you know, you want for those you know, big hook sets, heavy action rods, 25 pound line, and that stinger hook is already anchored in there with wire, crimped, ready to go. So if you get short striking fish, you're not gonna have any issues with them, you know, pulling the hook out or, you know, this crimp system is gonna keep them locked on there and it's gonna reduce that leverage. So you're gonna put a lot more fish in the boat. Um, the balance on this bait, it sits, it sinks a little bit nose down and when it comes over cover, it's got like a nice natural swimming action. There's actually a small hole in the bottom of the tail as well. So if you want to add a little a rattle to it and make a little bit more noise or add some scent, you can do that as well. Just super stoked, get all the, you know, the sizes and colors of the pole tail trouts in stock, the ready to fish ones. Check those out on the website. The next one we got is their new redesigned model of the ready to fish bluegill, the 3D bluegill. This is just an awesome little bluegill. So, I mean, everything from one pounders and up is gonna eat this thing. Uh, they redesigned the shape of it a little bit and they went to a four segmented design versus a three segmented design. And with the narrower profile, you can fish this one at a little bit, at different, more speeds than the original uh, 3D bluegill. So you can fish it slow and fast and you don't really have to worry about as much as, you know, the, the bait turning over on its side as you would with the last model. Still super strong hook. But it's not an oversized bait, so you can throw this on like your fit, you know, like a heavy jig rod or something like that. And then the detailing on this and the paint jobs, just super realistic. Um, just an awesome little bluegill profile. If you're looking for a bluegill swim bait, this is one of the best looking bluegill swim baits I've ever seen. Check those out. The last one we got here is their new Panic Pencil Popper. So this is the smaller of the two sizes that we have in stock. Um, if you're looking for a bait that you can throw, a topwater bait that you can throw a mile for schooling fish, this is going to be the one you want. So it's heavily weighted down on the tail. So like I said, it casts like a rocket, loud rattles in it. And then on the bottom here, it's got this step hole design. So similar to some of the boat hole designs. And what this does is actually gonna pull in air from the sides as you walk this bait and it's gonna create a, an aggressive bubble trail. So just more action on the surface, gonna attract more fish and just help your lures stand out. Especially when you have schooling fish and they're, they're busting on a big ball of bait. This is gonna create more disturbance and just draw more fish to your lure. On the bottom here, they got double split rings. So the fish are gonna be able to twist and turn a little bit more and not get as much leverage and turn and throw the hook, especially when you got them on a long cast and you're fighting them a long way to the boat, it's gonna help you know, reduce some of those lost fish. And then also they got four X trebles on here. So they're sticky, sticky, sharp treble hooks. You know, if you're, you fish in those lakes with a lot of blueback herring and you, you run around chasing schooling fish, stripers in the surf, things like that, the bigger model would be the way to go. But just a great top water there by Savage Gear. All right, another exciting top water we got from Rebel. So this is a spring release item. This is the new Rebel P71 Pop R. So 
What, what Rebel has done is they've, done, they've used a 3D scan of the original P70. So if you're not familiar with the P70, it's an old popper from generations ago that, that was kind of a secret bait of the pros. And now they've been discontinued for a long time. And it's one of those baits that people search for on eBay and flea markets and things like that and pay top dollar for to get their hands on because they haven't been made for years and years and years. With their 3D scanning process, they've accurately copied the exact same shape, lip design, weight, sound. They've got everything exactly how the original P70 was, P70 was but now you're getting a new model. On this new model, it's also gonna come with Gamagatsu hooks on it and you got a feather treble on the rear, so ready to go. So if you were a big fan of those P70s, you've been holding them tight and not using them, or you know, you're searching all over the internet trying to find those old lures and pay, you know, paying an arm or leg for them, no more, we got the P71, so they recreated that old lure. You know, Rebel's been legendary for making pop bars for years and years and years. Just add another one to the lineup, like everyone's gonna be super happy about. It's a little bit bigger than the other pop bars on, in the lineup, and this is going to create a little bit louder chugging and popping action and it's also it walks really easy so it's three inches long so you can you know twitch it on the slack line you're going to get a great walking action out of this one as well so great popper glad to see that rebel brought that back all right next up we got another little crankbait from spro so this is the spro little john micro dd 45 crankbait i'm super stoked about this little guy it's a finesse flat sided crank just like all the other little johns on the market um, but this one, you're going to get this ultra small profile, one and three quarter inches. It weighs five sixteenths of an ounce and you're going to get down to eight to 10 feet. So if you fish a lot of balsa flat sided crankbaits, we all know we can't get those things that deep. This is going to get you down to that depth that none of those other little flat sided crankbaits can get down to, especially a crankbait this size. So, you know, cold water, it's going to be deadly. And then all those times of the year that everyone is, you know, everyone's throwing bigger cranks and there's a lot of fishing pressure. This is going to help give you put a little couple more fish in the boat for you. Um, if you're familiar with the Little John series, most of them have that soft tungsten weight transfer in them. Uh, this one actually has a fixed weight system and it's silent. When you see the underwater footage, it has a super tight wobble. It's got that signature DD bill on it. So super tight action. And then it comes with the Gamagatsu hooks on it, round bend treble hooks, ready to go right out of the package. If you're looking for a new finesse crankbait, you need to check out this Little John Micro DD. All right, from Terminator, this was another 2020 iCast release. So this is the Terminator heavy duty swim jig. And this is just a phenomenal swim jig. If you're looking for a swim jig that can go in heavy cover and you want to fish on 20, 25 pound fluoro, straight braid, you know, in the nasty cover, this is going to be the one you want to take a look at. So it's got this balanced head design. I really like the keel, the way they shape this head. Got a vertical line tie and it's got a nice weed guard. It's stout, but it's not too heavy where you're going to be worried about getting good hook penetration. Um, and so you're going to be able to get in and out of cover really well. And as you can see on the hook, this is a giant 5 op BMC hook on there, and it's a heavy wire hook. So, you know, I wouldn't be throwing this thing on anything less than 15 pound. You want to throw 15, 20 and up, straight braid, you know, in the weeds, that's what, where this swim jig is going to excel. Um, it's got this stacked cone keeper on there, so it's going to hold plastics on there really well. And then when you go through the website, they have a phenomenal selection of skirt colors on there. So they're all pro designed by all the Terminator pros. Uh, you know, there's like black, blue, purple. They have all kinds of bluegill, shad. It's not just your typical run of the mill colors. They really took a lot of time to get some really good colors for you. So check out all these new uh, swim jigs from Terminator. All right, we got a few terminal pieces for you today. So from Blade Runner, this first Mondo one we got here is the new ounce and a half spinnerbait head. So Blade Runner's made a spinnerbait similar to this, the same size, and it used to come with a big Toro tube, seven inch tube on there. Now you're able to just get the spinnerbait head. So, you know, ledge season's gonna be here before you know it. So if you're into throwing the big spinnerbaits on ledges, I know I, I love throwing big ledge busters, ounce, ounce and a half spinnerbaits. Definitely gonna wanna try this one out. You know, put a five, six inch swim bait on there. You can add a skirt on there if you want to, get a full bulky um, spinnerbait profile, big single blade on there. Just gonna be awesome for fishing deep water. You know, when the fish get out there deep on those ledges, uh, you need a big heavy spinnerbait to stay down and be able to stay down on the bottom where the fish are in that depth and not get any rise out of it. Also going to be a good one for night fishing. You know, summertime night fishing is going to come up. Big bulky spinnerbait like that is going to have a lot of commotion in the water and draw a lot of bites. All right, next up from Blade Runner, we got their new belly spin swim bait hook. So it's a screw lock, weedless swim bait screw lock hook with the underspin blade on there. If you're not throwing swim bait hooks like this, uh, you are missing out. You know, you're able to get 
kind of multiple styles of lures in one. You're getting the, that added flash of an underspin jig head, but with the weedless design, you're able to throw this in and around cover through vegetation and stuff like that and just get a little bit more action on your swim baits. This is awesome little hook here from Blade Runner. It's actually built on a mustad hook, so it's super sharp. We got them in a bunch of different sizes and weights, so like what, whatever size swim bait you want to throw it in, they got a hook for you. They got a couple little finesse heads as well. They got their new turd head. So completely flat bottom design, stands right up. What's cool about this net head is it actually has a twisted wire weed guard on there. So you can flex this wire depending on how much, uh, you know, how much vegetation you're fishing through. And you're not gonna have any problems with hook sets either. It flexes right down, you get great hook penetration. Double weed guard on there, so it's gonna hold plastics on there really well. Just awesome new Ned Rig head. And the last one up, we got their new BRT Finesse head. So, I like this head, head a lot as well. It stands up really well. It's got a really light wire hook, so you're gonna get great hook penetration. Uh, you're fishing any kind of like small creatures, worms, you know, bed fishing, you know, shaky heads are great for that. So if you're looking for a new shaky head to throw in the arsenal, check out these new uh, BRT heads from Blade Runner. Next up, all right, we got a couple more terminal pieces. So we got another shaky head. This one's from Santone Lures. This is the Titan football shaky head. And as you can see, not a finesse shaky head at all. So this is built on a large football head with a flat bottom, stands up perfectly on the bottom. It got a screw lock on it, but the main thing, built on a seven knot heavy wire hook. So this is not a spinning rod shaky head. So you wanna throw this on bait casting equipment, but this is gonna be perfect for, you know, that lead season that's coming around the corner. So you can get, uh, you know, 10, 12 inch worms on there, full size brush hogs, double wide beavers. If you've never thrown big creature baits on a shaky head, it is deadly, not a lot of people do that. And this is a shaky head you need to do that stuff with. You know, you wanna have a big hook, throw it on heavy tackle and it's fun, you know, you, you kind of fish a finesse style presentation. You know, it's finesse fishing, but you have a big profile, still get to use a heavy rod and heavy line, and put a lot of big fish in the boat. All right, the last one we got from, from Santone is the new Chris Saldane's Little Swimmer Ball Head. So this is specifically made for finesse swim baiting and it's, it's built around this modified ball head design. Um, it's got a wire keeper on there and it's got a really small hook as you can see you know this is made for those two and a half to three and a half inch swim baits and he specifically made it with that small hook because when you're throwing finesse swim baits if you have too big of a hook you're really going to impede the action of your swim bait you're going to it, the hook's going to go too far down the body you're going to reduce the kicking of it you're going to you know limit the body rolling it's going to affect the balance so he really wanted that small hook in there so you're not affecting the balance of your swim bait. So if you do a lot of finesse swim baiting, you know, it, that's deadly all times of the year for all species of fish. You know, those small two and a half, three and a half inch swim baits, you know, fish just can't resist them and they're good to throw at all different levels of the water column. And now you got the perfect head for that from Santone Lures. Last up, we got some new line. This is actually an exciting new line from Suffix. So we finally got it in. We've been waiting for this since last summer, I believe. This is the new Suffix 131 G Core braided line. And what the 131 stands for, it's actually a 13 strand braid. So it's 12 strands of regular braid wrapped around one gore fiber. And uh, you know, there's, I don't think there's many other braided lines on the market that have that many, that high of a strand count. And when you feel this stuff, it feels like one slick line. It feels like a monofilament or a fluorocarbon. I've never felt a, a, a braided line that's this smooth. It's amazing. Um, the benefits that you're gonna get with that too, it's gonna have, really high abrasion resistance and it's going to be ultra ultra smooth it's going to maintain its shape for a long time so some of the lower strand count braids they'll get they'll get flat or they'll get you know different different spots in them over time from setting the hook and pulling out snags and thing, things like that this is going to stay round for a lot longer and since it's so smooth it's going to go through your guides super quiet so it's not going to be like any other braid you've fished um, so if you're doing you know, a lot of stuff that you, you know, wind, you know, wind a lot, it's not gonna sound like the old rough, you know, braid that's braided at a steep angle. This is just gonna go right through the guides like you're fishing normal line. Just a phenomenal braid. If you're looking for some new braid to try out this summer, you know, frogging, flipping season, all that stuff's coming, coming right up here pretty soon. Check out the new 131 from Suffix. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase the product seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.